Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and yeah, bring it down to bite-sized pieces. So today, interesting stories all about Cardano. So first up, Cardano prepares to welcome Singularity Net as its Ethereum contracts gets terminated on May 31st. And this is just the beginning because we're looking at ERC-20 converters and different projects that were on the Ethereum blockchain, which are going to be moving over to the Cardano blockchain and how much is really going to eat into uh, Ethereum's dominance and what is happening. So we're going to take a look at what is going on there on top of how I believe things are actually going to move in the right direction for smart contracts as they get rolled out in a three-tiered stage and what this really means for the Cardano ecosystem. We're going to be taking a look at a lot of those over the next coming uh, weeks over on Dan Cliffs. And finally, the reason why they're doing this uh, so delicately and uh, in a step-by-step -step fashion is because of uh, fraud and different uh, hiccups and problems that happen in the DeFi space in general, as far as smart contracts and people losing their money. So we'll take a look at all that, but first let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So before we start, uh, as you may see, that uh, we're in a lovely, nice uh, demoed home here. Uh, it's one of our um, investment properties and uh, we're back in Houston for a bit to get some things done over here as we turn a property around and uh, see what we can do and all that great stuff, which is uh, just a fantastic part about, uh, you know, getting into uh, investment properties, uh, short-term rentals and things like that. So uh, one of these days I'll do a more in-depth video about it. Uh, I've already done one before, but um, this is just uh, what we like to do. And uh, here we are. So anyhow, it doesn't really matter. This is what's going on in the market. That's what everybody cares about. So right now we're at uh, 1.48 trillion. And like we talked about yesterday, um, it's going to be, either it's going to go sideways, a little bit of bumps up and down. And we're going to see some different things happening as far as like, you know, just sideways action. And in my personal opinion, this is where all the money's made. All the money is made when it's boring. Everybody's like, ah, forget it. I don't want to do anything with this. And they just kind of get out because they don't want to, it's not sexy. It's not really you know, glamorous to uh, as things are moving sideways. But this is when you do things like, look, if you would have invested back when I was investing in 2018, when everything dropped down 80%, uh, you'd be loaded right now. So this is not investment advice. This is just investment opinion. I can only tell you what I've done. And uh, it's not for everybody. That's all I can tell you. But if you have the, the gumption, I guess is a better, uh, it's probably a better term than that. But to get into this, then, then here is what it's all about. And uh, these are the times that I live for, actually. So anyhow, Bitcoin is down. Everything's down. Let's just, it's, just, it's all down. That's just what it is. And, uh, you know, we've seen these dips. This will be the fourth dip. And people are always asking me what's going to happen over the weekend. Like I said, I'm like, well, I don't think it's going to run on 25K. But I do think we're going to bounce up and down a little bit. It, it's, it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, for Americans, so we have a three-day weekend. I don't think a lot of people are going to be doing a ton of trading in America, maybe outside, of course, but um, I just don't think it's going to be uh, massively, you know, bad to like 25, 20K or something like that, people talking about. I just think it's going to go bounce around. It's going to get boring. People are going to jump out because they don't really care. And uh, people like me and you probably uh, just sit back and go, cool, I'll just uh, accumulate until everything takes off at the end of the year, which is what I think is going to happen. Anyhow, that's what we have in the market. Everything's red, and uh, that's what it is. Except for Matic, wow, 26% for seven days, but even they're down 4% because Mark Cuban came out and said, I'm buying a bunch of Matic. Guarantee he doesn't know what the heck it is. I, excuse me. I guarantee he knows the layer two solution. I don't think he knows everything about it, but uh, he's probably got uh, his hands into it and uh, the price up a little bit. So good for that. I own Matic myself a little bit. Okay. Anyhow, here's what's going on as far as Cardano. And this is what I think is going to be the next big thing. I, this is like the fifth time I think I've talked about this. I really do believe that Ethereum had its day in 2017 and all the ICOs are built on it. Okay, granted, that makes sense. And then everything was going on long swimmingly and then different things happened with the ICOs and work out so hot, a lot of them. Um, and then we move on into you know, the gas fee issue and then Binance chain came up. And they have their day, and a lot of things are built on that. Now I think with smart contracts being coming forth with Cardano, I just don't understand why people can look at this and go, yeah, Cardano's a ghost chain. Nothing's going to happen. I really, truly believe that a lot of things are going to be built on Cardano, and it's going to just explode. 
On top of that, people think that Ethereum is going to uh, be, you know, the dominant force forever. Could be. I have no idea. I own both, and uh, it's not my, it's not my place to say, you know, what this is definitely going to be. It. I'm just an investor, so I just hedge my bets and, and go from there. And uh, I think Cardano is going to do pretty well over the next couple of months. So the first sign I can see is different projects jumping ship, projects that were on the Ethereum blockchain, which are saying, you know what? Um, there's an ERC20 converter come that's that's out, and we're going to be doing these smart contracts. Let's just go over to Cardano because we want to go where the fees are low. And then people will come back and say, but you don't understand because Matic and Layer 2 solutions, and it's going to be awesome. Sure, it could be, but uh, that's where this company wants to go. So let's take a look. Anyhow, what's happened here? Well, Singularity Net, a decentralized artificial intelligence platform, will terminate its old Ethereum contracts on 31st, on the 31st of May following a snapshot taken on the 28th of May. So if you have uh, any um, Singularity Net tokens, uh, just know that there is a process. There is a website. Uh, I will link it in the description below, singularitynet.io. The very top here, it says AGI to AGIX hard fork, upcoming May 28th. Don't wait, take action now. And it tells you exactly what to do. So they're going to be uh, going from Ethereum over to Cardano. So just so you know, that's what exactly is going on. And then um, it says here, Cardano will officially become a smart contract platform and it'll take bytes out of the competitors. I think we all know that. The first Alonzo test nine has gone live, great. And then this is the interesting part, Singularity Net to generate 1 billion AGIs on the Cardano network. So they're gonna generate 1 billion, the token on the Cardano network, in addition to the AGI token, as a supply of 1 billion Ethereum. The entry of tokens produced in Cardano into circulation will last for 91 years, and the Ethereum-based AGIs will start to be considered illegitimate. I think it's going to be a little faster than that. I think it's going to just go away. Look at the website. It explains it uh, quite clearly. But just so you know, first of all, the circulating supply is 1 billion. Uh, the price right now is about 4 cents or so. It's so not too much. But the question you might ask is, what the heck is Singularity.net? Well, Singularity.net, decentralized marketplace for AI, artificial intelligence. It states there's a significant gap between the people developing AI tools, researchers and academics, and the businesses that want to use them. Organizations need a more customized solution that one a single AI project can offer, and research projects oftentimes have trouble accessing a large enough data. And this is where Singularity Net closes the gaps. So here's how, there's an example that they gave because they have that, they are the ones that created the, uh, the Sophia AI robot. And what they say is like, they will put the, the artificial intelligence in and go, okay, let's say you want, you have a business and you want to go out there and take a look at all the different websites as far as like um, videos and, and gives and put some kind of data input into it. Well, you're going to need some artificial intelligence to actually go to the website to actually make that happen artificial intelligence to actually take a look at the uh, video, uh, assimilate it, see what you need to know, and then put that into some place. And then the third part could be any kind of like storage or whatever else. So you need three components for AI. Singularity.net gives you all those AI different types of aspects, and you can pay for those instead of having to work it out from scratch. And that is the power of Singularity.net. So I think it's an interesting concept. Let's see if it all works out. But they've been in the game for quite some time. They're the ones that... uh gave us that uh, crazy Sophia robot, so we'll see. But to finish this article up, this was the interesting part. Um, CEO of Singularity.net, uh, Ben Gortzel, said, we are updating our old Singularity.net platform to Singularity.net phase two. In our own words, our old platform works fine, not counting the well-known shortcomings of the Ethereum blockchain. That's just his words, not mine. Uh, and there will be many improvements in phase two, one of which will be Cardano, a much more advanced blockchain. So look, these guys are at the forefront doing some pretty uh, uh, ambitious things. So we'll see if it all works out. But this is just one example of projects moving from Ethereum uh, over to Cardano. No, and then some people will say, well, that's just, the, that's just one. But how many do you really think are out there that are looking at this going, Let's see if Cardano can pull it off. Let's see if Ethereum can actually make Ethereum 2.0 work because there is a big dichotomy between 
a programmer and what they do and a business owner and what they do. Me personally, I'm not a programmer, but I'm a business owner. I can tell you right now, if uh, something is expensive for me to use and doesn't work too well, I'm going to the next thing because it's my job to make money for me, my family, and also my employees. So if it's not working, I'm not here to be a rah-rah cheer boy. I'm here to make a bottom line, make a buck. And uh, that's how it works. So if I have something that's going to work a little bit better, I'll probably go that route. Now, later on, if something happens where it's like, oh, well, you know what? Ethereum 2.0 is good and it's released fast and there's no gas fees. I might consider coming back. But again, business, this is just makes sense to me. I'm like, if it's not working, I'm out. And that's what I can really tell you. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And this kind of leads me to my next point which is about the Alonzo rollout plan. So just so you know, uh, they've already got their test net live. Uh, Alonzo is when everything comes in as far as smart contracts and it's gonna be staggered. And I'm always, I was always critical about Cardano because they take so damn long. But in all honesty, it's, pro it's great that they do these things uh, because you know they can kind of test what's going on and make sure things actually work. And uh, they're going to go all the way from June, July, August. And then in August is pretty much where it's just a done deal. September is just kind of like uh, working out a little bit of the kinks. But they're going to get the um, um, stake pool providers, uh, which Dan, dnews, dandydescripto.com, we are part of those SPOs. So you can stake your Cardano. Um, and when they get everything involved, the first one will be just a couple of ones uh, in June, July. Pretty much all of them, and then September, it's like a hard rollout, and off they go. I think it's pretty amazing they can actually hit these numbers and actually make it happen. I think they're gonna, it's gonna work. It seems like they've been hitting their their goals every time. So uh, again, we will see. So I think it's great that they do these things to make sure things work, because this is the problem that I see with projects that come out too fast and really just don't do too much testing and and reviews and things like that. You get stuff that happens kind of like this, and this is. Um, uh, what is this, Burger or Binance Smart Chain, uh, Burger Swap, loses 7.2 million from a flash loan attack. And when we look at these, we just see numbers. You just see like 7.2, you're like, well, who cares about 7.2 million? Uh, why aren't we over, you know, like 1.4 or $5 trillion in a market cap? So who cares about 7.2 million? You know who cares? The people that lost that money. And this is just a prime example, of just a little bit that could happen. Now, extrapolate that out to an entire large ecosystem of a large market cap and they get into DeFi and they lose 100 million, 200 million, a half a billion dollars. That is a catastrophe. So I'm glad that Cardano is doing these types of things. And again, I was critical before, but uh, get it now, especially because of examples like this. So this is what happened, just as a recap. At around 3 a.m. on May 28th, Burger Swap on the uh, Binance Smart Chain encountered a flash loan attack. 7.2 million was stolen in 14 transactions. This is what's amazing to me, is that hackers can like do a little bit of work. I mean, I don't know how much it takes. I'm not a hacker. But uh, just do a little bit. Don't have to leave their, their house and they're millionaires. So like, <clears throat> I just saw a Guy Ritchie movie and uh, it, was, it was all about a bank heist. And I'm like, man, it's a lot of work. You know, like, why wouldn't they just, you know, if, if you, you were just a hacker, you want to do all this work. And I think this is, is the big thing because it's just like money sitting out there. Why wouldn't these hackers do it? You need somebody to really come in and do an audit, uh, take a look at all the different potential pitfalls that could uh, happen, and then protect against that because this obviously was not the team. So here's what happened. <laughs> Users can add liquidity and earn the project's native token, the Burger. Hackers created their own fake coin, okay, and formed the new trading pair with Burger. They, this was the route. Burger to fake coin to WBNB, through Burger, back to fake coin, trading pair, attacker re-entering Burger Swap through fake coin, and manipulated number of reserve zero and reserve one in the pair's contract, causing the price to change. And just so you know, flash loans are smart contract-based schemes that allow the issuance of loans within a single transaction or attack. So that's the problem with smart contracts and DeFi. And it uh, makes a lot of sense of why I was doing a lot of their due diligence to make sure this kind of nonsense doesn't happen. And my last point is this. I do believe 
that if you're looking at uh, some massive gains, this is investment opinion, not investment advice. This is what I'm doing. Take a look at the ecosystem that's, that's happening with Cardano. Again, I think Ethereum with their ICO days and everything's being built on it and uh, uh, decentralized exchanges and DeFi, they get a lot locked up. But now you got somebody coming right behind and going, you know what? We can do a lot of things too. And uh, if you want to come over to where it's, a little, it's faster, it's a lot cheaper. We got a lot of things going on as far as like development goes. This could be your opportunity to get into our system. And I'm already, I've already interviewed the guys over at Indigo and Liquid, uh, Charlie, uh, which is their Oracle, and uh, Sunday Swap and Card Starter. I've already reached out as far as, and also Tesseract. So right now is not a good time to do like, uh, you know, the, the, the first part of the interviews, and then uh, I have to put them all together because it's just not a great time right now. I'm just busy. So I'll put those all out in Dan Clips. And um, these are the things that I think that as they move forward, these are the things that I'm going to get into heavily because I believe this is the next step of crypto and where things are going. And we already talked about um, WMT, a world mobile token, you know, where they're doing great things over in, in Africa. They're doing two parts. They're given the infrastructure as far as the uh, solar panels and the actual uh, mesh uh, telecommunications pods. On top of that, they're actually doing the token, and that'll be coming out in uh, uh, Q3 for the token itself. And I, we already did a video with uh, Mickey Watkins, the CEO. You can find it over at Dan Clips. I'll also put that in. And this is a great example of doing good and doing well. So I'll probably go in pretty heavy on that one as well. So look, that's it for today. I know it was pretty Cardano heavy. And I know if people love Ethereum, probably didn't like that video, but uh, you know what? I own both. I think they could do great. I just uh, just want to hedge my bet and just talk about the things that are really coming up. And I know everybody talks about, well, there's EIP 1559. Hey, we'll see. Just like we'll see with the smart contracts with the Cardano. Could go either way, but uh, we'll find out. Anyhow. That's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out. Consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive. And uh, that is all. Everything is fine as uh, far as the uh, links will be in the description. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.